So you're done designing um, those UI um, and you want to share it on Twitter, but you don't know how to do this. This is a challenge of a few persons and I'll just show you how I present mine on Twitter. And this video is basically going to touch point on two major topic. One would be presenting it the way I present my stuff on Twitter, which is just the natural um, minimalistic way. And the second way would be presenting it in a mock-up. So let's start with the first one. So this is the design and we're done designing and we want to present it the way I would normally present it um, on, on Twitter or on Instagram. So all you need to do is just go to your frame up here and go down choose the frame when you click on it come to come to social media click on it and choose instagram post now i don't do this because i've already crammed the number the number is 1080 1080 for the width and height so if you're that kind of person that loves to cram things you can just easily type it in here 1080 1080 and it would still give you the same result now having this frame i'm just going to change this to twitter all right and then i have a color i use when it comes to um, backgrounds that are white if my design is white then i'm going to use a background color that is not white because if i bring this into my frame you can see the design is baseless now to bring this design into our frame is very easy very easy all you need to do is select it now don't move the one you've designed into this frame all you need to do is hold alt or just press ctrl d easy way ctrl d duplicate section you can see it on the screen and then you just move it into the frame now we've moved it into the frame we can now put the frame at our viewport and now you can see the designs are inside the frame but they are constructing so we need a background color that is different from the background color of our design and there are two ways you can do this you can either pick the gray color in the design which is this with the eyedropper tool you can choose that and it gives it this feel or you can steal my color which is e2 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 e for egg press enter and you have this it gives it a more less constructing feel which is pushing the actual design to your face the previous one was this and my color is this so you can use any one you can also use a green color from you can choose any color here and use for your design so all i've done was to pick a color in between yellow and green and it gave me this result right so when next you're doing your stuff present it this way before exporting and sharing on twitter and you'll be amazed at how people would appreciate what you've done all right now the other thing you can do or the final aspect to this is to create it with a mock-up so i'm going to just move out i'll zoom out a bit go up to your resource icon choose plugin and we can now choose mockup just type in mockup and i have i think i have about three of them so i'll tell you the one you can use you can use mockup which is just mockup or you can use mockup studio so i'm going to use mockup click on it it would load and then it will show you some of the mockups that are available because most of them are premium right so i'm going to find a free mockup you can see latest free mockups click on view all all right we need one for a mobile phone so we're going to use this one uh let's use this so i'm going to select this because it's free and i like dark stuff and then all you need to do is click on the plus sign and then it will tell you to select a canvas or a layer and then just go to your design one of the design i'm going to pick this one click on it and it will show up here 
and then you can even click on paste in canvas so click continue and it will take up that phone now all you need to do next is click on paste in canvas and you're going to have it in your canvas it's over here all right so let's select that and just move it and zoom into that and there we have our design we can now close this out and you can now take this and share it to your audience all right to export this is very easy all you need to do is select it come down here you're going to see export click on it now people have asked me Davio, when you export your own stuff it looks very clear but when i export mine it doesn't look that clear all i do is export in 4x now there are times i would export in 2x now or 1x or 3x and this x is or x's are down here all right it's just basically down here now the reason why i will export in 4x is if i export and it's the size of the file is not enormous and when i say enormous i'm saying it's not more than 5 mb all right so if it's more than 5 mb i would export in 2x or 3x but most times i export in 4x so just click 4x don't click don't click on 512 or 512h width and height don't do that click on 4x and then you can also give it a name so that you remember so i'm just going to call this iphone all right and then you can now click on export iphone 15 pro and once you click on it it exports and that's how you can basically add your design to a frame you can add mockups add your design into a mockup and you can also export your designs out there and share it with the world share that amazing piece and remember to always post your stuff i'll see you guys very very soon